I often see a Facebook meme that has become popular lately. It says, all I want for my children is for them to be happy. A British philosopher, Jeremy Bentham, created a school called utilitarianism, and he defined good as whatever brings happiness to people, and evil as whatever makes people unhappy. It sounds wonderful, but John Stuart Mill and most of other philosophers write that Bentham's idea has an unintended logical conclusion. If all we want is for everyone to feel happy, then all we need to do is to hypnotize everyone into a joyful state or to put the whole world on drugs that makes people happy. Somehow, intuitively, we feel that people are created for something more than just being junkies. But if everything you want for your children is for them to feel happy, then this is all you need to do. Of course, drugs have side effects, but let's say they would invent drugs that don't have side effects. Would you want such a life for your children? You will probably say, well, I also want my children to be successful. And why are we looking for success? It brings money, social status. And why are we desiring money and social status? Because it makes us happy. So we are back to square one. Something is not working here. But the most interesting thing is that while everything that we want for our children is for them to be happy, the statistics show that they are the most unhappy generation in history. We provide them with education, money, good living conditions, but all the studies say that our great-grandparents, who did not have any of this, felt much happier than our children. So how were our great-grandparents raised? What did their parents want from them? The wishes of parents to their children are often expressed in lullabies that they sing to them when they're little and Jewish folklore. I heard a lot of Yiddish lullabies and I heard a lot of shtetl songs. I never heard parents saying once that they wish their children to feel happy. Never mind saying that this is all what they want for them. All the lullabies that Jewish mothers dressed in rags were singing to their often hungry children were saying one thing. I wish for you to grow up a good Jew. What does this mean? Let's translate it into the language which is understood by a modern person. It means, I wish you to grow up knowing who you are and where you come from. I wish for you to live a religious life, which is a life dedicated to something higher than yourself. I wish for you to behave according to the laws which are given from above. Many psychologists note that happiness as a goal which is set for yourself makes people unhappy. Maybe we should try telling our children the wishes of the Jewish mothers of the old. And maybe as a side effect of that, the children who will be brought up on these wishes will feel happy. Because a person who was not taught since his childhood who he is, and what is the purpose of his life will have a much harder time feeling happy. 